Hello and welcome to this edition of Mornings. I'm Paul Callender. And I'm Allison Lasienka. Paul, can you believe it's already March? Well, I mean, I'm a calendar, so I already know these things. North Penn has made its mark on Arcadia University. 23 North Penn art students have submitted their artwork to the PSEA Touch Your Future High School Art Show. The show consists of art from 27 school districts. The opening reception is this Sunday, March 3rd from 1 to 3 p.m. The show will remain open until the 28th. Fish just in, we have a two hour delay today. Okay, seriously though, we just found out late last night that Mrs. Carol Ann Begley in the North Penn High School Food Service Department was named the 2019 Pennsylvania School Breakfast Hero. Mrs. Begley is being recognized for her tireless effort to ensure kids in our school community get the healthy breakfast they need to succeed. Well done. Other updates, for those participating in the biotech interviews, they will be occurring today, but will not start until 945. Those who had interview times prior to 945 will be called down and given new passes. And finally, we have some images from last night's North Penn Technology Engineering Department's third annual Girls in Engineering Night. Full story will be in next week's show. Bandanas tied, knee guards strapped, and high tension matches on all four courts. The annual ICC Volleyball Tournament was a success. Take note of the titles, the 2019 ICC Volleyball Champions were the Long Schwangs, consisting of seniors A.J. Patterson, Brett Schwangles, Kevin Abraham, Zach Jays, Shane Connors, Nate Hartman, Connor Ertel, and the team coach Riley Fine. At the end of the night, the champions donated the tournament money to their chosen charity, Minithon. Are you ready for this week's Brumball Challenge? This week, he wants to know, on this date, what federal agency was created to spread the goodwill and assistance of the United States throughout the world? Remember to tweet your answer to at MPTV using the hashtag Brumball. What is code switching? What is colorism? These questions, along with many more, were answered at this year's Colors of Pride, a day in the life assembly. The African American Awareness Club spent the past couple of months creating a thought-provoking show featuring readings of various poetic pieces, a cultural, dam a cultural dance performance, and the presentation of other topics, including the talk. The next day, the teachers had a small group discussion at nighttime on one of the topics featured in the show. The 20th annual BCEFA, hosted by Thespian Troop 5464, was another success. North Penn News reporter Sam Santangelo files this report. There is no known cure of HIV AIDS yet, but the North Penn Thespian Troop 5464 stayed devoted to the fight. The troop hosted the annual Broadway Cares Equity Fights AIDS Gala, with acts such as monologues, singers, and performances from all three middle schools promoting their shows. The event was created 20 years ago by North Penn Theater student Ryan Williams to help raise money to support HIV AIDS research. I am kind of like a host and I'm performing in monologues and in Mamma Mia. I've been coming to BCFA since eighth grade with my middle school and kind of since then I've always wanted to be the coordinator of it so it's great that my senior year I am. The troop has raised a total of over $85,000 for AIDS research. Reporting for North Penn News, I'm Sam Santangelo. North Penn senior Billy Wormuth earned the Coca-Cola Scholarship. Billy was one of the 95,000 applicants to apply for this scholarship, and then he earned the spot of a regional finalist with 251 others. Out of that group, he was one among 150 students in the U.S. to be chosen to receive this substantial scholarship, and we'd like to wish congratulations to Billy as you go into Stanford next year. Brandy Marlin is here to give us the lowdown for this week. Brandy, is it too late to buy a yearbook? Almost, but not quite yet. Today is the last day to order your yearbooks. You can buy your yearbooks on shop.jostens.com. Don't miss your chance. If you've got talent, we want you. Sign up to audition for this year's talent show outside Mr. Berger's office in F26. Audition dates are March 4th, 6th, and 7th, and the talent show is Friday, March 15th. Today is the last day to sign up to audition. Class of 2020, the junior prom is this month. Tickets will be on sale starting next week for $30. Make sure to buy them this week because ticket prices will increase $5 starting the following week. Seniors, graduation will be here before you know it, so don't forget to purchase your cap and gowns by March 31st. Purchase them at www.sscgradstore.com before it's too late. Do you love trivia? Well, make sure to sign up during all lunches next week for the North Penn Model UN Trivia Night, a night of fun and all for $20. Anyways, that's all we have for this week. I'm Brandy Marlin sending it back to the desk. Thanks, Brandy. Let's check in with the artistic Anna Shinners on this edition of Hashtag the YNP. Hi, 
Hi, my name is Anna Shinners. I'm a senior and I'm mostly involved in the art department this year. So I started off um, in my sophomore year with photography and I didn't really take another art class other than that. And then junior year took a little bit more and senior year I basically live in J-Pod now. <laughs> I love North Penn because it gives a lot of different opportunities. We have a lot of resources in the art department, which a lot of schools don't have, so we're really lucky with that. Lots of opportunities to experiment and kind of like push outside your comfort zone. That's what I'm most thankful for is that, just for the opportunities that we have. I think that art is really therapeutic, even if you're not quote unquote good at it. It's going to be something that like calms you down or like gets you through tough periods of time. It's just, I think it's fun. I think everybody should try it out at some point or another. We have Sean Goodman here with us to talk about what's going on in the world of North Penn sports. What do you have for us today, Prasham? Well, we had a lot of news this past week. Let's start in the pool where last week in the diving team showed their dominance. Members of the girls diving team finished in the top four of the district championship as Paige Burrell finished in first, Maddie Freese was the runner up, followed by Megan Wenzel in third and Kiana Yancey in fourth. All of them qualified for states. And for the boys, Evan Mears finished in sixth for the district championship and also qualified for states. The ice hockey team placed in the semifinals for the SHSHL championship Unfortunately, after a 42 win over Pensbury, however, the Knights lost to Penridge 6-4 Wednesday night. The bocce team did a great job as they wrapped up their season Wednesday as the Navy team placed second in their bracket and the Columbia team placed fourth in their bracket. The bowling teams will participate in their regional competitions today and tomorrow. Best of luck to them, and Amir Pickens, Alex Rump, Pat O'Neill, and Jared Nadosik will be wrestling in the regional competition today as they try to make their way into the state tournament. And that's all we have for the sports update. Let's send it back to the desk. Thanks, Prasham. We asked North Penn students to give us their best pickup lines on this edition of the Question of the Week. Paul, do you know any good pickup lines? I know a couple, but I'll spare you from hearing them. Let's go ahead and see what the other students said. Are you a photographer? Because I can picture me and you together. Have you been to the doctor lately? because you're lacking some vitamin B. Are you from Tennessee? Because you're the only 10 I see. Can I follow you home? Because my parents always told me to follow my dreams. Eres wifi, porque siento la conexión. Que pasta? Fine weather we're having here. Date me. <laughs> Are you Jamaican? Because you're making me crazy. How you doing? Are you Google? Because I've been searching for you. If you were a chicken, you'd be impeccable. I lost my number. Could I have yours? Can I borrow a kiss? I promise I'll give it back. Are you from China? Because I'm trying to get your number. If you were a fruit, you'd be a fine apple. Are you a girl? Because I like girls. If you were a steak, you'd be well done. Are you a good GPA? Because I'm desperate and like, like I, I, need, I need a good GPA. Please, please. <laughs> Sorry, I think I must have fallen for you. Are you North Penn Television? Because I want to see you on Friday. The mock trial team is on their way to semifinals. After a huge win against Methacton, North Penn came out strong with a score of 90 points. Congratulations to Uma Khan for winning the Best Witness Award and Janavi Khanna Sundaram for winning the Best Advocate Award twice. Now let's throw it to Mr. Monero as he talks about the mini fine committee. Take it away, Mr. Monero. Thank you there, Mr. Calendar. I'll tell you, between the calendar jokes and the pickup lines, I'm having a tough time this morning. Good morning, North Penn High School. We have a big event coming up in April, and it's mini -thon. Okay, and so Sydney Stark and Simon Rathod are here today to tell us all about Minithon. So first of all, what is it? So Minithon is a 12 hour long event that we have here at North Penn and it is in collaboration with Four Diamonds, which is a nonprofit organization that has a goal of raising money for the fight against childhood cancer. All right, Simmer, thank you very much. And Sydney. 
That sounds very exciting, right? So mm -hmm. what if we want to sign up? How do we do that? All right, so today and all through next week, we will be having sign-ups for Minithon for $25. And right there, we'll help you set up your donor drive so that um, you can start getting your fundraising efforts off to a good start. We ask that you have a minimum fundraising goal of $50 before you show up to the event. Okay, now what if I'm like, say, Mr. Wilson, who used to be on the morning show back in the day, and I don't feel like standing up for that long. Like, I can't be on my feet that long. Is there, should I not go? No, we of course want you guys to come. So this year with Minithon, we have a couple of new things happening. So at Minithon this year, we are going to offer a sitting period. Now this does not mean that you're allowed to sit for the entire time, but if standing up for 12 hours is the thing that's keeping you from coming to Minithon, then we are giving you the option to sit down for a period of time. So we encourage you to come. Okay, and you told me there's going to be something else at Minithon. This is a very millennial thing here. Like, what, what is this, this secret is. you have here? So the other new thing that we have at Minithon this year is going to be a puppy hour. So we are Puppies <laughs> at Minithon? Yes. What? Sorry. Super exciting. So we are going to have a sectioned off amount of time that we're going to have puppies come in and everyone can go in and play with them. And it's just going to be a great time to kind of wind down and enjoy the night even more. Oh, that is great. Okay, and lastly... You have, a, you have a fundraiser leading up to Minithon. Yes. Yes, so this is a sandwich fundraiser through the um, trolley stop in Hatfield. And you can uh, give us your order for what sandwiches that you want, and the pickup date is March 12th. Okay. Gino, get your yes. order in for your sandwiches right <laughs> now. All right, that's all. Minithon coming up April 12th and 13th right here at North High School. Have a great weekend, everybody. We'll kick it back to the desk. Thanks, Mr. Monero. Did you tweet your answers to at MPTV using the hashtag Brumball? Let's check in with Mr. Brumball himself for the answer. Hey, the answer you've all been waiting for. On this date, in 1961, President John F. Kennedy signed an executive order establishing the Peace Corps. First started out in a handful of countries and now operates throughout the world. Many students from North Penn have actually become Peace Corps volunteers. Bet you didn't know that? Now you do. Thanks for playing this week's Brumball Challenge. The winner of the Brumball Challenge is Mr. Houston's first period class. That's all we have on this edition of Mornings. I'm Paul Callender. And I'm Allison Lasienka. Have a great day, North Penn.